Hey everybody, if you are interested in Star Wars and the old school Battlefront games, then please take a look at my new Battlefront Max channel which you can find in the description down below. Every two days I upload a new review of an awesome map or mod for this timeless classic and provide links so you can immediately pick up and play. Hopefully see you there on the channel and also don't forget to take a look at some of my other channels like the Kanoa Reviews channel where I review games both old and new and where you can even send in suggestions or requests on games that I will review. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of the episode. Another city held by the UNSC was going to be under attack by the Galactic Empire. This time the city was bigger than the one that had to clash with the Death Troopers and the incoming units were of a very different nature indeed. Colossal ATACTs, normally used for cargo transport, but still capable of leveling a building within seconds, were on their way. They were not as armored as their ATAT -AT counterparts, but with their 31 meters tall, they were twice the size of an Imperium Warhound Titan, a behemoth that the people of Earth still had not encountered. The Imperial Walkers were slow, and obviously their huge size got noticed right away by Intel, who immediately launched an evacuation of the city and instructed reinforcements with AT weaponry to head towards the perimeter. The walkers were accompanied by stormtroopers, who would deal with the UNSC troopers on the ground. And as the evacuation was still underway, the Imperial walkers had gotten into firing range. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode. We are in quite the predicament because as you can see we are under attack by the Galactic Empire and they brought their giant walkers. These are AT-ACTs. They're not as strong as the um, AT-80s but they still can pack quite a punch. So we are finding ourselves under attack. We have uh, civilians as well that we need to evacuate and uh, protect. We have several rocket troops that we can hopefully use to take out the ATACTs. Again, these are mostly used for cargo transport, meaning that they're not as well armored. You remember Rogue, Rogue One? They, uh. Oh, yep, there's already one down. Let's see, is this guy. Oh, is this guy switching to his rocket? Let's see if he can do some damage. Come on, trooper. I'm actually also a rocket trooper, so I'll join them as well. Ooh, very fired. He missed completely. Oh, he might actually be aiming it for the ATST. Oh god. Let's actually help him. Bam, there we go. That is a confirmed hit. Now, besides them, we actually do also need to deal with incoming infantry in the form of stormtroopers. And like I said, they also have ATSTs. We did have a turret gunner here for infantry. Of course, he was in the open, so I got shot there where the smoke is. That's where they're coming from. I'll just do some covering fire. Ugh. That was not it. All right, so this, the characters that I'm going to switch now to, uh, they are better for fighting the infantry. So I have better scopes. However, they do not have rockets, so I do have to actually pull off the rocket. Don't worry about the lag. It'll fix itself soon. Uh, we are taking quite some losses, though. The Warthog's down. Something there's down. Sir, get out of the street. I saw some white armors over there. Let's grab this. Got one rocket. I think, though, that this dude has more in his backpack. Yep. Problem is, I don't have it. Well, I can just put this on. There we go. A little heavy now, though. Here we got a warthog with a machine gun. Let's 
taking fire from stormtroopers that are incoming. Just need to get a better look on the situation with the walkers. Looks like the walkers on the left flank have been dealt with. And on the right, they're still there. Yep, all three are burning here. That one... Is down to boom, look at it shake. Shake and bake, baby. Another one. He survived that, I think. Ugh. I think he's still operational. They're firing at me now. Nope. No, he's down too. They do sometimes need multiple rocket uh, rockets to take them down. I think that might actually be all of them. Oh, jeez. I don't know if it's an ATST that's firing at me. Dude, if it is, I do have a rocket with its name on it. Those are regular units. Ugh, it's difficult to navigate over these planks. That did do that absolutely nothing. Ooh, he hit he did hit me though. This was because it was so far, it just scaved me. Alright, let's head down. Still got quite a lot of units here. We need to take this do something about those ATSTs, that's what I'm hearing. Now we're going to demand the pace with the ATACTs. Must have been uh, quite the bummer for the Empire, seeing that the ATACTs are so easily uh, dealt with. There we go. Bam! Ooh, feels good. Have no visual confirmation. Right to us. Oh God! Jeez! What? What am I being hit by? Are they on the streets? Did they make it all the way over here? like once right over here. I I see him. Boom. There was another one. He had a friend who went in there. Um get some healing item and then I want the rocket. So I wanna take care of that ATST. Alright, I got two rockets in here. Because they're so much tinier, it's going to be difficult to get a good angle on them. I could go up here, but I think I would be an easy target for the stormtroopers. If it's the, still the same one we saw earlier... It's not. It's a different one. Alright, let me just replenish my stamina for a little bit. And then I'll try and get up here. There 
right here. Oh, they're firing my way. Get down. Get down, like Arnold would say. Oh, my goodness. I see. Oh, right, there, there he is. Okay. I was actually looking at the... That's not actually the ATST that's firing. There's another one. Where's the other one? Woo! There. Nope. Other one. Alright. That hopefully should be all of them. Let's see if we can actually get in this. Oh, I hit him. Saw the blood splatter. Hit him, hit him, hit him too. Yeah, get some. Uh, sir, are you okay? You look wounded. Get to one of our medical centers. We'll patch you up and get you out of here. Unfortunately, some of the civilians also did not make it. Most of them did, though, which is good. I think we're just now dealing with some of the um, last leftovers. And most of them might be actually at the base of the walkers. I won't really pursue them. I'll probably see if I can deal with this and then give the win to the UNSC. That's, that's, that's pretty big group still here. Oh! What are those guys doing? Flanking attack? We're in God's name. <gasps> Look at him! Peeking over the corner like a sneaky bugger. That was actually something that the Arma AI was not able to do a long time. Like, with all the patches that they did, I do have to give them credit. They do sometimes make the AI a little bit better. I remember one time, one thing that they at okay. that was really fucking weird. Whoa! Whoa! What is the leg? What? What exploded? What? What is blowing up? There's a. Give me some bullet penetration here. Got a little bit of spray and pray over there. Huh. A lot more actually are still alive than I thought initially. Still though, it's not enough to actually for them to uh, be able to take it out. What was I talking again about again? Before the thing blew up.
But yeah, the ATACT is not that impressive. The Star Wars mod is not faring too well compared to the other two. It has not played all of its cards yet, but it does not have too many new things left. Look, they got all the way over here. Oh yeah, the Arma AI. That was what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I got shocked. I, I remember when uh, when I played the game and I saw an AI, like a turret gunner, get shot out of the turret and then another, a different AI unit, uh, without scripting, went over there and took over the turret. It was really cool. It was something that the AI could not do before and this time, now making a turret in a uh, grouped area makes... It much more effective because once the gunner is shot, someone else can take over. Now, they don't do this as often as I would like them to. We saw it, of course, with the turret gunner that we saw on the uh, crossing at the beginning. The infantry turret, but no one else took over. I only saw it a couple of times. That's why it also impressed me so much. What we got here. Now they are very impressive in terms of scale though. They are bigger than the Warhound Titan. Which some people in the comments, the fanboys, the Warham said that's incorrect. That is not incorrect. That is actually correct. Where the Warhound Titan Warhound Titan stands at 14 meters. The most basic one, the uh, ATAT, maybe not the ATACT, I don't know, but stands at 22 meters, making it taller. But of course, the Warhound Titan is the smallest Titan, and there are different types that are bigger, and also those that are bigger or big as an ATAT. Anyway, with that, um, yeah, this victory goes to the UNSC. The Imperial Walkers were indeed not very sturdy, as expected. They were only able to destroy a small part of the city. This was another loss for the Galactic Empire, that seemed to be on the losing side as a whole. It appeared as if they were only able to win in the very beginning, when the element of surprise was on their side, or whenever they would send out one of their Sith Lords. This could very well mean the beginning of the end for the Galactic Empire in this war. But besides Earth, the Empire was of course also in battle with the forces of the Imperium on other planets. Cargo and supplies was transported in large convoys of dozens of ATACTs, And this did not go unnoticed by the Imperium, as they sent out one of their Warhound Titans to single-handedly take out an entire convoy of these giant walkers. <laughs>